and welcome to another Max Car Chat. Today I'm going to try and give you a really whistle-stop tour into how to get the best out of driving experiences in the UK. I've been doing these type of experiences now for probably around 10 years and I've used a number of providers in the UK including Everyman which is the most popular and Sixth Gear. I'm just going to rattle through some bullet points but if you've got any questions please put them in the comments below and I'm happy to answer them and please like and subscribe to the channel for more content around this type of stuff. Point number one, sign up to the emails. The deals are worth having. You will often get freebies like passenger laps and photo packages thrown in. My brother recently did one. He got the passenger lap and the photo package thrown in and that's up to £50 worth of experience if you want to buy it on the day. Number two, this is a huge one. Please, please double the distance. Instead of doing four cars for three miles, which is often two laps on the airstrips, do two cars for the four miles that you really want to do. And then you might want to upgrade on the day, but often two laps is not enough. If you're only doing two laps, I would definitely recommend one of the sighting laps. They're about a tenner, and particularly for a number of the tracks where they're gonna cone out chicanes, understand where you're going and not learning in the cars that you've paid for is a huge advantage so please definitely have a look at that the days never run to time you will often be given time slots for when you should be in each car ignore them it does not work if you want to get as close to your timings as possible book the earliest earliest slot but as the day goes on it's really tricky because more and more people arrive so don't get exercised about the timing if you've got three or four cars expect to be there up to three or four hours it is a lot of waiting around I always next point I always buy the damage collision waiver I have been on a number of these experiences where either there has been an incident in the car park where somebody has hit another car at the track day I was at in April 22 somebody came off the track it's a bit more expensive but it's definitely worth the peace of mind knowing that actually you can relax while you're out there when you get there, they will try and sell you extras. They will try and get you to upgrade your car. They will try and get you to double the distance. If you haven't done that, they will try and get you to upgrade your passenger lap, buy videos, etc., etc. Sometimes the deals are worth having. So go with a bit of pocket money in case one of those deals are available. The next one is about preparing for the day. Obviously, be, expect to be there for a significant period of time, but they are outdoors. These airstrips and tracks are windy. Take coats and be prepared. There was loads of people at Dunsfold in April 22 where that were freezing, that were set up with coats and t uh, with shorts and t-shirts on. Don't bother. Prepare for the weather. The next one is listen to the instructors. They do vary in how encouraging they are, but actually the more you listen to them, the more they will push you. Be aware that you will really only get to experience the acceleration on two or three of the straights that are on the track. You will not be hearing around the corners. You will be doing those corners at 20, 30, 40 miles an hour maximum. So just be ready for that. The, um, the next one is a lot of the cars are much older um, than you might imagine. They live on track. They've seen thousands of people. The insides can show wear and tear. So don't expect for the older cars to get into brand new sports cars. The newer cars are obviously in better condition, but some of the older cars have had a life. When you're waiting to be called for your experience, don't wander off because if they shout you and you're not there, they are busy days. They will give a slot to another person and then you will have to come back and get back in the list. So definitely stay close to the areas when they're calling you. You will get a score sheet at most of these places. It's about being smooth and not fast. Remember that if you listen to the instructor, you will get better scores. These are not about racing scores. So really, really concentrate on smooth inputs, acceleration, brake and steering. And that's how you will get good scores. If you haven't done one of these before, all of the instructors have a brake pedal. If you are not in control, they will use it. Sometimes when you're braking hard on the straights, they will also give a bit of additional brake pressure if you are not braking hard enough. It's there for safety. Please don't get exercised about it. Some days there is a lot of traffic on circuit. If you can do a weekday one, they are always quieter, but be aware that sometimes on a Saturday there will be up to 200 people in a day doing these experiences. Expect traffic. Sometimes there are people that are driving supercars that are terrified and they are poodling around like a granny. So great instructors will let you move around them, but just be aware that ultimately there are going to be other people on the circuit, so you are not going to be hairing around. 
really main point for me is you have to manage your expectations about these days. They are experiences, it's not about racing, you're not gonna be doing 160 miles an hour. The most you might get up to in the very longest straights is 120. Uh, when we went to Dunsfold in April 22, the fastest that my brother got to, and I'll put the video on, is 113 in the 720S down the middle straight at Dunsfold. The rest of it is fairly mundane. You will be going slowly around the corners, but the straights is where you've got to make the most of it. The other thing you need to be aware of is these cars are not in their sportiest settings. They will be in their comfort modes. You might use 50 to 75% of the revs and you will probably only use third, fourth and fifth gear uh, in the flappy paddle auto. So don't expect that you're going to be doing full bore accelerations from zero. That's just not what those days are about. Maximize the use on the straight. Don't be afraid to put your foot flat to the floor. The instructors will encourage you to do that when the time is right and don't miss those opportunities because if you're only doing two laps and there are only two straights, you will only get to do that twice. So make sure you make the most of it. Again, happy to answer any questions. Um, I hope this has given you a bit of an insight into getting the most out of driving experiences. And again, please like and subscribe and comment if you want to know more. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. What's that like? That is, uh...